So I should probably start with the fact that for years of my life, I struggled with just really negative thoughts about myself. You know, growing up, really most of the time, my thoughts about myself were not positive, they were not good, they were actually kind of mean. Things that I would never say to another person, but that I said to myself about myself every day. You know, thoughts like, oh, I'm ugly, or, or thoughts like, I'm a bad friend, or I'm a bad daughter, or I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough. And I remember one of the lies that I believed in the most was this lie that I was very unathletic, that I couldn't do anything athletic and that I would never be in shape or able to do sports or anything like that. And I remember growing up, um, especially when I got into college and after seeing all these Instagram posts or, or whatever posts about my friends that I knew training to run these marathons or half marathons or 5Ks and, and looking at the pictures of them completing this and thinking to myself, man, I literally could never do that. And then a couple of years ago, I don't know why, but I randomly decided that I was gonna start training for a 5K. I think I got sick maybe of just telling myself that I couldn't do it, that I wasn't capable of doing something like that. And so I started running regularly. And at first it was pretty pathetic. I would start with running for a minute straight and I would be so out of breath and then I would try maybe three minutes the next time. And, and as I started running more regularly, something that started happening to me as I was running is I would start running and you know the first part of it I'd be like oh man I can do this I'm doing a great job and then slowly I would start to get you know really exhausted and these thoughts would start coming into my mind where I would be like there's no way I can do this who did I think I was coming to a gym and trying to exercise I know I'm bad at sports I know I'm bad at doing anything exercise oriented why did I even try this and as I ran all of these thoughts would just come into my mind but what I realized is that I could reject those thoughts because they weren't just true things I was thinking about myself. They were lies. They weren't true and I could reject them. And so every time I ran, I started listening to worship music, music that focuses on God. And I would listen to these songs that would sing about who I am as a child of God. And I remember there was this one song that literally goes, I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. And I remember the first day that I was able to run like an actual 5K, like an actual 3.2 miles. I remember the first day that I was able to run it, I was listening to that song on repeat. And as I was running, especially as it was getting towards the 3.2 mile mark and I was getting more and more exhausted, I kept thinking all these thoughts in my mind, I would be like, oh, you can't do this, just quit now. And then the song would play. I would hear the song and it would go, I'm no longer a slave to fear, I am a child of God. And I started to slowly replace those words with the words that I was thinking about myself. So I'm no longer going to tell myself that I'm not athletic because first and foremost, I'm a child of God. Or I'm no longer going to convince myself that I'm out of shape, I am a child of God. I'm no longer gonna say that I'm too clumsy, I am a child of God. I started fighting back against the lies that were coming up in my mind. And what I realized is that when I rejected the lie and I claimed the truth that I was a child of God, the lies started to get more and more quiet until I couldn't hear them anymore. And all I could hear was that I was a child of God and I'm gonna freaking run this 3.2 miles. <laughs> And I know that maybe that sounds silly or, or small that I was able to run a 5K finally. It's not an earth shattering event. But what that experience taught me is that the lies that I've spent my whole life believing, I don't have to let them take up space rent free in my head and in my heart. I can choose to reject them. So the next time I look at the mirror and I look at myself and I say, gosh, I'm ugly, I can I acknowledge that lie, I can reject it, and I can claim the truth that I am beautifully made in the image and likeness of God. The next time I think to myself, oh, Lauren, you're just so negative, nobody wants to be around you. I can acknowledge the lie, I can reject it in the name of Jesus, and I can claim the truth that I am a joy, that I bring people joy, and that the Lord created me to bring joy to others, that I'm not just negative, I'm his daughter, and I'm good. 
And this was a life-changing experience for me because it was the first time in my life that I realized that the lies I had spent my whole life believing didn't have to define me. I didn't have to let them take up space in my mind anymore. I could reject them and claim the truth that I am a child of God. And so my encouragement to you today as you're watching this is to take a moment to consider what lies you've let yourself believe. Maybe you believe you're not good enough, you're not athletic enough, you're not smart enough, you're not pretty enough, strong enough, whatever. What are the lies that you've let yourself believe? And what is the truth? If you think you're not pretty enough, the truth is that God made you beautifully. You're fearfully and wonderfully made and he doesn't make mistakes. If the lie is that you're not strong enough, the truth is that the Lord is your strength and he cannot be defeated. If the lie is that you're not lovable, the truth is that you were created by love himself, that he can't help but love you, that by your very nature, you are loved. What are the lies that take up space in your mind? My invitation to you today is to acknowledge those lies, reject them, and claim the truth that you are a child of God. I'm Lauren, and this was my story with overcoming lies.